Hello everybody and welcome to Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian. Uh, so uh, today is Friday the 8th of September and tomorrow is the 9th of September obviously and uh, it's the date of the Bournemouth Brick Festival which I will be attending. Uh, I've got a seller's table there to sell some of my Lego investments. Uh, this has been in my calendar for quite a while. It's my sort of local Brick Festival. I live sort of about uh, half an hour's drive away from the centre of Bournemouth. It's on at the Bournemouth International Centre which if you know Bournemouth it's right next to the pier and the seafront. Um, it's been a very very hot and sunny week here in the UK. We've had sort of had a very, very odd summer. We had a very cold May, very warm, very warm June. July and August have just been awful, been wet, while the rest of the world's been having heat waves. It's been overcast and rainy and showery and not very nice weather. And then we get into September and we have a heat wave. So the last week's been really hot. I've had to go into my attic and get Lego stored all around my uh, all around my house, ready for this Brick Festival. Uh, and I just wanted to sort of show you some of the things that I've been up to over the last week. First of all, then I went into my attic and I bought all these uh, gift with purchases down. I think apart from the Wally sets on the left all of these are free gifts with purchase and I put them all in these uh, plastic ziplock bags um, you can see here that uh uh, put an Ian's Bricks label on the back. There's a zip lock at the, lock at the top. Put a little bit of sellotape on some of the uh, sides as well. There's the Ian's Brick logo. That's a Harry Potter set. This is the sandwich, uh, um, the sandwich shop here. I've done a similar thing there. I would actually go and put more sellotape on later. So this is basically uh, just going through the different sets. I've got the Bionicle there. I've got the Lego Ideas uh, sailboat. I've got two of those. A couple of the Blacktron cruisers as well. These are the uh, Pirate Adventure Playground. I've got three of those to take with me. Uh, three of the flower pots as well. Two of the Easter baskets, even though it's nowhere near Easter at the moment. A couple of the Disney 100 promos as well. A couple of the Charles Dickens promos to take with me as well there from a few years ago, but they uh, came back in stock. Uh, a couple of the moving trucks as well. I've got two of those. What else have I got? I've got the Grand Staircase. They go for quite a bit of money these days. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show you through some of the uh, some of the promos that I did actually get. And in the other part of my uh, lounge here, there's just a load of sets here which all still need to be bagged up. Uh, some of the larger sets as well. So, so all the, most of these sets were in my attic, so I had to sort through them out, sort through them all and, get, and bring them all downstairs. Uh, and then I spent the next few days bagging them all up, taping them all up and, uh, and making sure they all look really, really nice, uh, ready to take to the Brick Festival. I see there's loads and loads of boxes here, so it did take me a while to go through all of this and bag everything up from uh, from this little lot okay so I've put some of the sets in my garage and uh, one thing I have done this time is uh, I've put some plastic covers on them but I've actually sealed them uh, around the edges so they look a little bit neater than they have in previous fairs that I've been to uh, if I can show you what I mean so this is one of my boxes here with some of my uh, free gifts with purchase and a few other sets as well. So for example, all I've done is I've obviously got the um, zip uh, zip tie bags, zip zip lock bags I think they're called, and uh, you can see here I've just sort of sellotaped them around the edges here, um, the top as well and at the end, and it just sort of makes the whole thing a little bit neater. Um, so the trick now is to all of these boxes here, so we've got a box of stuff here, there's another load of stuff here. These are all sort of the smaller sets um, here, and then a fourth one here. And I've got some duplicates, as you can see. So we've got the idea sailboat twice there. We've got the Disney 100 set twice. So there are a few duplicates in there as well. Uh, but I've got a whole list here of prices, sticky labels, and I've got to go through all of these now and stick all these labels onto the different boxes. And that's what it looks like with the price label on. So. I've got another, uh, I don't know, 80 or 90 of these to do, however, however many boxes are here. Right, so it's Friday morning. Uh, I've labelled up all of the sets that I can, all the box sets, uh, with all the price labels on now. That took me uh, quite a lot of time last night, but it's all done. Uh, and they're all stuck on. Uh, the only ones I don't label are the, uh, are the larger sets, just because I can't fit those into bags, and I'll do separate labels for those uh, later on today. But what I wanted to show you is pretty much go through uh, all the stuff that I'm taking with me. Uh, this is not the poly bags, but the main box sets, just to show you how much stuff I'm actually taking to this particular event. 
So as you can see, I've got everything laid out at the moment, uh, sort of in open boxes, so you can see what uh, everything I'm taking with me. Uh, excuse the mattress over there, that's just something I used uh, earlier on this year when I'm camping. Uh, so uh, some larger sets here in this box here. So I've got a TIE Fighter helmet, this might be my last one, so last one of those that I've got. Boba Fett helmet there, and we've also got Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, I've got the Friends, Lego Friends Ideas Central Perk there. We've got the uh, brick moulding machine, and if you can see that uh, too, well that was from the Lego house, to, brought that all the way back from Denmark. Uh, this here is another Lego house set, uh, and I've got a Star Wars set there. Uh, some of the smaller things you've sort of already seen, I've got some duplicates of some of the gifts we've purchased here, uh, but I've got some sets I've purchased as well in here, like some of these Speed Champion sets for example, and some Star Wars sets. Uh, over here we have some bigger sets, we've got some Harry Potter, I've decided to take the fish tank, uh, I've got Batman car, uh, these are all upside down of course, we've got the Fox Phoenix, um, another Harry Potter set there, that's the chess set. Uh, Speed Champions here, this has done quite well since it's retired, this, uh, this Ford set. Um, another Star Wars there, minifigure book. Uh, I always take one of these, I've only got a couple of these left now, but uh, they seem to go quite well with the orange minifigure. Excuse my camera work. Uh, in here we've got a mixture of stuff. Uh, so we've got two of the uh, VW campers, the original ones. So I've got a couple of those to sell. An Avengers Tower as well. Some smaller stuff here. Uh, some of the bigger sets to show you. Uh, I've got the Vestas wind turbine. Uh, I've also got this uh, city train set here as well. And I'm taking the Disney Castle as well. This is the original Disney Castle, not the new one. So this is the older one. So uh, the reason I'm taking this is just because because they brought the new one out. The new one's going to be out for years. So I don't think these will appreciate much in value. So I just thought it was a good opportunity to sort of sell this on and make a small profit and, and uh, invest that money in something else. Uh, over here, we have this Technic. Land Rover uh, Defender, a slight box damage on that one, but that will uh, that will reflect in my price. So uh, we've got that on there. Uh, we've got a green grocer set here. I'm just taking my green grocer again. <laughs> uh, I've got the Ferris wheel there. And then just behind that, I've got another green grocer. So I'm taking two green grocers with me this time. Hopefully I'll sell one of them at least. We'll see. Uh, down here, again, just some promos and things which you've seen before. Uh, these are all priced up now, and uh, I hope we can agree that they look pretty good. Uh, they're all sort of sealed up with these bags. I just think they look really nice how they're done. I've sort of put an Ian's Brick sticker on the back there, so you can see those. So there's some of the freebies there, some of the gifts we've purchased that I'm taking with me. And again, some larger sets here. We have Harry Potter Attack on the Burrow. Uh, we've got the Blue Fiat which I'm taking with me. Uh, this is the uh, the Hogwarts Express, the older style one. This is the King's Cross version. So I'm taking one of those. I didn't have a bag big enough for that. I'm also taking the Saturn V. This is the original one. So I bought these quite a while ago. Then they re-released this set. So again, this is a set I've been hanging on to for quite a while. So gone up a little bit in value. So I'll try and, try and get rid of that. And we've got the London bus as well. And then over here... We've got some more boxes, a little bit darker over here, but I think you get the idea. We've got Harry Potter Night Bus, another Batman, uh, Batmobile there. We've got some more helmets. We've got the Batman helmet there. The Batman cowl, the classic Batman. We can see that, the glare from the sun. And a Scout Trooper helmet as well. Just hold that there so you can see it a bit better. Uh, and then just a couple of smaller boxes with some smaller sets here. And we've got some more Harry Potter, we've got things like Hagrid's Hut, the Quidditch match, some of the prices as well on these, uh, uh, just, just, just a cheap city set, uh, and the Flintstones. So what I have to do now is I've got to sort of move all of these boxes. I'm going to sort of put them into, into sort of separate boxes, cram the boxes as much as I can with as much Lego as I can get in there in each box. Obviously, I want to maximise the storage space. My car's only got a limited amount of space, so I need to be careful how I pack things. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to get cracking on with that. 
So there we have everything packed away in boxes and as you can see there's a lot of boxes uh, so I won't fit all of these in my car but luckily for me I've got a friend of mine uh, who I work with Suzanne she's coming uh, with me tomorrow so these boxes here hopefully will fit in her car uh, the rest of these uh, here hopefully will go in my car so uh, let's give that a go and see how that all works. Right, so nice empty car at the moment, as you can see. Just put one of the seats down, but both go down. Uh, just start by filling the uh, foot wells with my plastic bags and my table covers as well. So let's get the other seat down and some of the boxes in. There's my first row of boxes in then. So all tightly packed. I've left myself a little gap so I can see my rear view mirror slightly. And there we have everything in. I've actually even got a gap there, but I've got a food bag to go in, so that can go in there um, tomorrow. And this is sticking out a little bit, but it does shut. I've tried it. It doesn't break the window. So that's pretty fantastic. So all I need to do now is the rest of the stuff here is just wait uh, for my friend Suzanne. So there's just basically one, two, three, five boxes all together. I'm not taking that one behind, just those five there. Uh, and uh, so I need to get those into her car. So she'll be round in about an hour or so. So here's my friend Suzanne and this is Perry the dog and she's come to help today. So basically this is all the extra Lego that I've got here. Just five boxes fit nicely in Suzanne's car. And so she's going to drive to the Bournemouth uh, International Centre tomorrow morning and uh, help me out. Perry's not going to come with us though, are you Perry? No, you're not coming with us. Uh, just because uh, no dogs allowed, I'm afraid. Uh, so at least I'll have a, a willing helper and not one that's probably going to cause chaos if she was to be let loose, eh Perry? That's pretty much everything. Cars are all packed, everything's ready, everything's labelled and priced up. Uh, just a couple more things to do before I go to bed tonight, but I've got all evening, plenty of time, get a nice early night. Uh, don't have to start too early, probably, I don't need to get there until half past seven, half an hour drive away, so that's not too bad, so it's not too much of an early start for me tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of uh, me preparing for a brick festival. It's a lot of work. I understand it's a lot of work and it's a lot of hard work and it's been very, very hot this week, which hasn't helped. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I still enjoy doing these brick festivals and I'm actually in a really, really good place now. I've got a little bit of time to relax this evening before the, the day starts tomorrow, so I'm hoping it's going to be nice and busy despite the hot weather that's forecast tomorrow. There'll be a lot of people in Bournemouth with a lot of tourists on the beach and things like that whether that will mean people will come into the brick festival extra i really really don't know but uh, fingers crossed that they do uh, so uh, yeah let's hope it's really really busy and i'll uh, be doing a video of the actual event uh, so look out for that in a day or two's time but thank you very much for watching take care until next time we'll see you then bye for now